what up? Yeah, I'm not dead. Cyberpunk TV is live. And we're playing Frog Fractions. Now, I haven't played Frog Fractions, but there's something weird about this game, like, that I don't understand. Because to me, it just seems like Frog Fractions, a game about fractions. But people keep saying, like, you gotta play Frog Fractions, you gotta play Frog Fractions. So, let's play Frog Fractions. Okay, what? Wait, what? Oh, okay. So, oh, so fractions come out of the bugs? But, like, at what point do you actually learn about them? What the fuck is going on? Okay, just eat the bugs, Ben. Yeah, nine and three quarters, bitch. Come on. Zork mids? Indignity? What the fuck is this game about? Okay, hold on. Okay, so you collect the fruits, and then you get... Okay, wait. All I can get is... Oh, I can get a cybernetic brain. Let's get lock on targeting. I don't know how that helps. Oh, it does. Blurp. There we go. Oh, look at me being all boss and stuff. This bug's got nothing on me. Can I, like, move? There's no moving. Okay. There's no moving. Good. And so, like, the bugs, they don't seem to do anything to me. They just seem to spoil my fruits. Uh, cybernetic brain. Turtle. Upgrade your lily pad to a turtle. You can ride him, grab the fruit off the side. Who put that fruit there anyway? Yeah, let's do that one. That seems good. So, oh, now I can wazd. Make my... Yes, now we are getting... We are accumulating gameplay mechanics. I still really don't know at what point this game is about fractions. No, who am I to judge? Oh, that one's gonna get... Gonna get over there? Oh, shit, I missed it. Nine-eighths. Five-sevenths. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you taste these, this steel, this froggish steel. What the hell, game? Okay, let's keep going. Whatever. Got five minutes to kill. Alright, what else we got? A creature for Tudurians. They smell awful and bugs will take longer to eat them. Okay. Rub balloons against your tongue before extending it. Nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science. That seems good. Let's do static click tongue, that seems good. My score is in a fractional form. I don't really know. Pretty accurate here. I should try to catch more fruit because you use those to upgrade. Get this one. Oh, no, cool. Um, dragon, too expensive. Um, let's get a cybernetic brain. Okay, so I believe my cybernetic brain has made all of the fractions into scientific notation. That's effective. Makes my score way easier to deal with, too. Uh, let's do some durian fruits. Frog fraction teaches typing. None. The... What the hell game? Tooth. Uh, hoot. <laughs> Note. Uh, nut. I can't move left and right anymore, so I don't know. On to, on to noon. <laughs> the hell game. Hen. Tone. Okay, well that was fun. Uh, we're back to wave one again. Uh, have, has every wave been called wave one? Like, is that something that this game is doing? Fruit. Turtle. Turtle. Alright. Uh, cool. Wait, it says, oh, you can swim up and down? Oh, okay. So I can swim up to, like, right up to the land. That's pretty cool. Okay, what about down? What? I can just go down here and get the ones that I lost? Are you kidding me? 
Okay, so I have like a billion fruits. I guess I should just go back up here and finish the level. There's a couple more bugs. <laughs> um, I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but whatever. Um, I can I can upgrade to the dragon. Sweet. Oh man, check it out. My dragon is awesome. I can just fly in the sky. Oh shit, they're shooting at me. What? Oh, okay. Whatever. I don't need more fruit. I have like a million. So this game is like a bullet hell now, and I'm still not seeing the educational value, but I am, however, seeing this. It's weird. What? Warp drive? Sure. 25,000 fruit. Seems good. Alright, let's go. What? Fucking <laughs> uh, so Star Fox. All right, hold on. <laughs> Never seen bugs shoot at anyone but you. Attacking Bug Mars. I really don't know what how relevant that is to fractions, but I am prepared prepared to attack their homeworld and end the bug menace once and for all. Crap. Um, oh god, don't yeah, don't forget to avoid bullets, but thanks, man. You know, I couldn't figure that out on my own. Here we go. Get landing on the planet. No refuge. Attitude for games. Okay, we just... It's pretty jamming. Okay, here we go. What? What? Uh, Mr. Hop, charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking in into entering our native habitat, Bog Mars, with the intention to purloin your delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Um. Uh, I am amphibious, Your Honor. Sure you don't want a lawyer? These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor. There's a st special offer this week. How'd you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bog Mars? Um. Absolutely. I love it here on Bug Mars. And the history and culture of this fine planet. All right. Our bug flag has four stripes. What do they represent? Bugs. <laughs> Can't bug blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Um, this, on the series Bug Jersey Shore, what bug is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars because of the climate. Four score and twenty bugs ago, Bug and Chief Thomas Jefferson wrote Declaration of Bugs. We are blessed in which an alien right. Um The right to bugs. It's the only right you'll ever need. During the War of Bug, 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under his Mercedes bugs? Four twenty. I swear, they caught him twice. It's not just a pot joke. A shameful moment in our history. He regretted that for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? Um. They're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer. 
Wow, fake hmm. naturalization program? Hmm. Um, we were gonna fire you into the sun, but instead we decided to issue a work visa. We'll just sign here. F yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, so. Bartholomew. Salience. Done. Myers fractions are the best fractions. Wait, are we playing the same game? Oh my god, we are. Oh my god, what is going on? So we're now we have just. I'm going for it. I'm going down. Where where is where is down? I don't. I don't know where I'm going, guys. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end. What? Until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. What? He's talking about boxing? Um, okay. We're just, we're just doing this. We're going. I don't know where we're going, but we're going. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637, after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. don't know like is that Cthulhu or is it just a weird thing I don't know we're just gonna keep going hmm it's kind of peaceful down here being away from all the frogs and the fractions so nice while it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sports sports school moms single minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Wow, that's weird. Um Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place. But it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis, and though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. So we're just hanging out, listening to this guy talk about the history of boxing, only complete bullshit history of boxing. Um, I mean, I don't have Wikipedia open here, but pretty sure that it wasn't invented as a way to talk your opponents into boredom but you know i could be wrong you never know the real wonder though is that andre felipe's original vision of boxing is still around gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world you can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave 
but every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another what? day. What? Found a space. Okay, well, Bug Mars, suck it, I'm out. History of boxing, suck it, I'm out. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped. Now you feel an intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. The walls of the circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. What next? Um, look at display. Or look at, yeah, display. A glowing green display shows you a map of the galaxy written the destination. If you don't recognize marked an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled Route Details and New Destination. Press new. So neural interface sub two step before you can even consciously process what's happening. You've hit the back button and return to the main map again. So we're not changing the route. Let's look at um, push route details. How come everything ends up being a text-based adventure? I okay. <coughs> so, um. Blue of steps, such as spiral spinward, it's fussy systems, far faster than you can fathom. What next? Okay, so we're not changing the route. Let's say go aft. Captain's quarters, an all-purpose living area, a sleeping pod sits next to the nightstand. Ladder leads to the fore, and an oriel rent, um, oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Um, look at rug. Um doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. Uh, pick up rug. You score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Um, there's a hatch but beneath the rug. All right. Uh, open hatch. You have to work at it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Um, go down. Look. Um, oh, go aft. We're in the engine room. Um, nearly every surface of this room is covered with a stink pink, uh, sticky pink goop, which seems thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires, and there's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters in the fore. Um, examine machine. Consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Read paper. This is the included out of order note included in your game package. Oh, okay. I don't have a game package. This is frog fractions. Uh, let's see. Um, turn off spigot. You spell spigot. It said it up here before. Spigot. This is space. Machines aren't on or off here. They just are. All right, we're just going to ignore that. Um, hmm. Examine wires. Whose machine are you? It's like an empty coffee can. Guessing that doesn't belong there. Take coffee can okay um take coffee can you twist the can loose and eventually it comes loose but you've ripped the insulation off an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut you glance down at what you've taken it really is a coffee can um examine our Come on, game. Examine. Then machine. Um, put coffee can on platform. Examine coffee can. All right.
turn machine on. It's gonna give me that same speech. Okay. Um, hmm. What can we use to insulate the wires? Huh. We need something cool to put in there. Inventory. You're not holding anything. Okay. Go. Let's look for a second. There's got to be something here. Take pink goop. Oh, the goop is stuck to the surfaces. Okay. Mm, go for. Open the drawer. Take manual. Read manual. Manual for the navigation computer in the command module. Aha. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um, let's go for then. Um, okay. Let's see. Examine. In control deck. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot, because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Okay. Um. Okay, push new. Sweet, you definitely pilot a course back to um. You you definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel the G-force of ship. The ETA reads fifty-seven and three-fifths years. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through Bug Customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. All right, well. Uh, sleep in a pod. Um, your head has barely touched the pillow. When an alarm begins repeating perfume chamber endly, you will wake up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but after a couple of minutes later, it still hasn't. Um, perfume chamber empty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Examine wires. Put Use manual on wire. That doesn't go there. Okay. God damn it. Ugh. All right. Well, fuck it. I don't have what I need for this. So let's see. Um, maybe my cup is full of goo again it's an empty coffee cans okay so the machine is not on wait 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 take paper oh take tape examine control panel mm, sticky pick goop you see a row of buttons that look like radio preset buttons Two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. None of these are legibly labeled. Pull lever. Dispensing mom specialty. The machine says a thick stream of pink goop streams out. Mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth. You recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. 
atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says. The whirring sound intrudes, but the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Okay. Um, push button. Wait, yeah. Uh, raise button clicks into place, and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. Pull lever. Um, dispensing local currency. A voice says, a thick stream of Zorkmids shoot out of the faucet and bounce off the flat platform and scatter around the room. Pick of Zorkmids. Yeah. Push button. Mom specialty. Push button again. Push button. I don't know. All right, so we don't need mom specialty. We have a cup full of milkshake. Inventory. We have some Zorkmids. We have some can of the pink goop. Some tape. I think we're going to put that tape on that wire. So examine. Uh, put tape on bare wire. Uh, nice. Score has gone up by one and two-third points. Um, cool. So that's not going to happen anymore. So that should be good. So then... Um, what does that fix, though? Spigot. Examine. Okay, there, so we've done both buttons. We have goop. We have. Um, okay, cool. So let's see. That should be all we need here, I guess. Hmm. All right. Look. Um. Okay, uh, examine, sleeping pod, a bed with a lid, assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality, um, there's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty, put can in hole, nine halves of a point, all right, let us, we've set a course, we've done everything, let's, Sleep uh, in pod. You lie down, sleeping pod, and the lid, close the lid and drift off. Um, when you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleeping pod. You blearily glance around and get your bearings. You appear to have been sleeping in a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already, a wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay, she laughs and claps. You realize you've been transmogrified into a human form. What? Oh my god, I can't do any- Can't eat any of these bugs! Ah! Dude, I can't- I'm powerless without my- Oh god. You awake with- What the fuck? Alright. You awake with a start. What kind of horrible dream? You call your friend, Draggy the Flying Dragon, to talk. Yellow, Draggy says, I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. I'm not really sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first. I know, just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed in the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, baby. We're running for president. He hoo ha 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 Candidate Hop, what do you say to the allegations that you are not a natural-born citizen and that you are under 35 and that you're a frog? Um, what? You serious, game? Okay, cool. Whatever, man. I'm not... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. Oh, yeah, DDR. Oh, yeah. This is the best presidential speech ever. I can't do it. We're all off beat. God damn it, keyboard. Ah! Damn my white American fingers. I can't handle this. All right, here we go. We're back on top.
can't the double ones are really hard. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh man, you dude, Abraham Lincoln, you are shooing for president. Yeah, that's right. I'm the president. Betsy Blue Bonnet. Sir Clarence Gastropod. Ferdinand Croker. Flaps McQueen. M what? Morag. Hidgential. Use some draggy clingy seal eater as himself. Created by Twinbeard. I think we beat this guy's. Numerators and denominators. Frog fractions. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Bug weather thunderstorms? The bug assets, 2000. Cost to produce bug porn, Zorkmids per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Um, uh, let me just do a quick calculation here. Two, zero, 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 divided by 10 to zero, 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 equals 200, which is exactly how many? How many pop-up banner ads? Do you want? Zero. Price to which to charge per megabyte. I want to charge 10 megabytes, $10 per megabyte. With a ring spam. <laughs> I'm making bug porn. Um, you made 20 minutes. You sold 40 seconds. Well, my profit is awful. How many Zork mids do you want? I want... Shit, let's just hold on. I got this nine. That'll fix my debt. Yeah, that's totally cool. I don't have. To... Oh, I can upgrade an upgrade? Wait. Uh, VR department, dance shoes, voice modulator, bug drugs. Um. Huh. All right, well, let's do that. Hot and dry. Uh, <clears throat> zero, I should have some left over. How many pop-up banner ads? Let's make 200. Okay, zero. Um... Thanks, but, uh, I'm into ladybugs. Um. Wait. Oh, damn it. All right. Okay. I'm really bad at this, guys. Guys, I'm really bad at this. All right, uh, frog STDs, uh, wow. Um, okay, we're gonna cost, let's make 100 megabytes. Let's make 150. Okay, so we charge that, so let's charge 20,000 Zork mids per. It's not you, it's my inability to distinguish you from prey. In-house porn musician decided to make Buck Rock really funny. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. But your low prices. Okay. We're still... Oh, my God. Just make, make as much money as you possibly can. Um. Hmm. Really? Um, 
let's make 100 megabytes. Let's make 1,000 ads. Let's charge 50,000. This is really uncomfortable, guys. I... All right, um, wow, zero, I don't need any more money. Uh, let's see, presidential swimming pool, let's do that. When you're done taking a break here, we need you to get back to work, huh? Yeah, I don't think I'm going back to work. Let's have some good times. Oh, okay. There we go. Finally, we did it. Jim Crawford, you're the man. Okay, guys, I went into this with really low expectations, but I knew it was going to be a little weird. I did not know that it was going to be the sum of every other game I have ever played. I mean, there's like a Phoenix Wright courtroom session, and there's a Star Fox action section, and there's a ridiculous, like, lemonade stand porn selling simulation. I... <sighs> Blown away, guys. Now, that... Having been said, oh god, wow, ah, uh, yeah, okay, uh, alright, um, I don't even know what to say, uh, Frog Fractions is a game, um, they actually just Kickstarter funded a Frog Fractions 2, and, uh, that featured a stretch goal to buy back Oculus Rift from Facebook, I don't think they made it, but, it was kind of clever. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, guys, come on. Really? This is what we're doing? We're just doing bug porn. All right, well. Great. Yeah. I just don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, that's like an hour of my life I'm not going to get back. I shouldn't complain, you guys aren't getting 40 minutes of your life back. I really... I'm just sitting here, burning time, because this game already had the credits once. I mean, these look like the real credits, but who knows what's gonna happen when we finally get to the end here. I mean, come on. Censoring the bug, the tree is over there. Whatever. Ugh. I don't know. That one you just missed completely, guys. Guys. Whatever. Yeah. that are frog fractions. Is this about it now? Oh, in memory of beard number two. Yeah, the company that makes this is called Twin Beard, which is possibly the coolest name for it. I don't know. Well, guys, there you have it. That is frog fractions. Yeah, there's some cool stuff. All right, so... Um, wonderful. See you guys next time.